Welcome to Ascension Podcast. My name is Claire and we've had a, a couple of amazing sessions where we have delved deeper into Nancy Cohen's Limitless Message. Today we're going to talk a bit more about, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> we're going to talk a bit more about your spirit um, being always awake. That's what we're talking about, your spirit <laughs> man spirit being always, always awake. awake. Yes, so my name is Joseph and please like and subscribe, write something in the comment section. If you would like for me to pray for you, please write that also for me and I would love to uh, take some time and pray for you. Uh, if you send me, uh, I just don't know how I can get the prayer to you if the Lord gives me to, uh, something, but maybe I can, I'll figure out a way to contact you. All right. All right, I'm ready. Are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Let's watch the first clip. So this first little bit, uh, Nancy is going to talk about uh, the purpose of the cross uh, and this whole uh, process that Jesus went through. Uh, or God really sending Jesus to, to come here to earth and die for us, although you already died before the foundation of the world. So um, it's going to be awesome. So we can be released from time or space or distance. Let me just ask you a question. If the Lamb of God was slain before the foundation of the world, what was the purpose of the cross then? If the completed work of Jesus Christ was already done before the world was ever created, what was the purpose for the cross? <coughs> Somebody answer me. Huh? No? There's, there's a purpose for the cross. What? That's right. Because God knew the demand of humanity to see something. So what he did was he took something that was done thousands of years before in the invisible realm. He brought it down out of the invisible realm and squarely seated it in the presence of the visible realm. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. The Word was God. The Word became manifest in mortal flesh so that we could behold, so that we could see. Okay? Now I want you to stand at the place of the cross and listen to what Jesus said. They asked him, uh, why, why, what was his purpose? Well, I came to destroy death, hell, and the grave. I came to destroy the works of the wicked one. Yes, um, God knew that um, people needed to have a sign and a wonder. We needed to see. We needed to see the cross. Yeah, so Jesus is life, he's light, and he came to destroy all forms of death. And so... Uh, he wants this earth to look like heaven. And in heaven, there's no death, there's no sickness, there's no uh, destruction, uh, there's really no evil, uh, there's life, there's joy, there's peace, uh, there's the manifestation of uh, uh, all that is good, all the creativity that's in God, all the color, all the, uh, just, just everything that is positive is in heaven. And so Jesus said that when we pray, we must actually ask that it will be on this earth as it is in heaven. He said, let your kingdom come, let, let thy will be done. And so the whole purpose why Jesus came, John say, I think it's uh, 1 John chapter 3, um, verse 18, <laughs> I hope I'm right, uh, where he says, uh, uh, the Son of Man came to destroy the works of uh, the evil one or the destroy the works of the devil and so uh, what did the devil do uh, adam and eve were working in, uh, living in absolute peace uh, in eden and then the devil came in to deceive them and to brought death and destruction so it says for this purpose the son of god was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil yes is it three eight yeah one hey. giant Previous <laughs> I was right. <laughs> yeah. And, and Nancy is, is starting to touch on it. So Nancy's got an amazing teaching called The Restoration of All Things. And it is really a life message. And this is kind of uh, the beginning and introduction of that whole message. But I want us to, to con you, uh, continue and listen now uh, to the part where she starts talking about your how your spirit man is, you know, your spirit is created in the image of God. And God never slumbers, He never sleeps. And so in the same way, your spirit man can always be active uh, in this natural realm and also in the realm of God where your physical body needs 
sleep. Um, uh, Ian Clayton has a teaching, he calls it the night watch. And he actually teaches you how to enter into the realm of the spirit while your physical body remains still asleep. Remember, when you awake, there's information that comes out of the natural realm and there's information that comes out of the spiritual realm. And so there's a little bit of a divide in the attention and the focus of your soul. But when you sleep and your body is is asleep, then there comes no information out of the the natural realm to use, only information out of the spirit realm. And that's why people go into the night to watch uh, where the Lord opens up the heavens and teaches them and trains them and have their full undivided attention. I came that all men might be saved and all men might be healed, but all men aren't saved, all men aren't healed. I know 250,000 people that died in 10 minutes. I helped pick up their bodies. We're traveling all over the world, fighting against rulers and powers and principalities in the heavenly realms. So my question is, did he really complete the purpose for which he was sent? I'm just asking questions. Okay? The answer is yes. But now the thing that he did 2,000 years ago, that thing that was accomplished in the invisible realm is going to be brought down out of the invisible realm and squarely planted on the earth in the visible realm, and that's called the restoration of all things. When we understand what it means... Not to be limited to time or space or distance. We can see it all. Trust me. We can see it all. Okay? All right. So, I don't want... <laughs> I'm going to run out of time for sure. Okay. So, no matter how strong we are, we've only been able to work so many hours before we have to give in to sleep. That was true, but it's not going to be true. Because the truth is, the Lord is going to begin to put our spirit in the primary control position. We're coming back into primordial position. Our spirit is going to take control of our soul, and our soul will no longer be able to hold us down to an earthly environment with gravitational pull because the spirit is coming back into its control. Amen? No matter how large an empire we have, we've only been able to be in one place at one time. Well, maybe and maybe not. I've been in multiple places at the same time, many times, and so have you. You just haven't realized what it is that you're doing. Now God is beginning to waken our memory. The memory that goes to sleep at night. Remember when I was talking, it goes to sleep at night, but your spirit never sleeps. Your spirit is caught up to see the things that were, the things that are, and the things that are yet to come. The way that you recognize that is you get into these conversations, you get into these deja vu experiences. Oh, I feel like I've really been here before. Well, guess what? You have. You have. It's not some just deja vu experience. It happened in your, when you were caught one night up into the spirit and you saw the things that were and the things that are and the things that are yet to come. But on that particular day, the thing that was yet afar off became downloaded into the earth and your spirit picked up on it. You knew, you knew, you knew that you had been there. But your soul, that thing inside of you that exalts itself against all that is God or godly every time, discounted it oh you stupid person you couldn't have been in this conversation before you only met these people today so we just set it on a back shelf and say deja vu sometimes the greatest and richest and most powerful and influential men in the world have to leave this earth at the very zenith of their power because of the limitations of their body God is definitely teaching us to put our spirit in a primary position. Yeah, so you have to uh, live according to your spirit. Mm -hmm. And so that means your spirit also have to be the center of the attention of your focus or your imagination screen or your conscience. You know, our, our, we are aware of what's happening to us in the natural realm and we are aware of what's happening on the spiritual realm and then our hypocampus that part in the back of our brain uh, is choosing what is the most important thing to focus on right now and our, our our natural body 
uh, is and our soul wants our heart but camp is always to tell us that what's happening in the natural realm is the most important thing uh, but we actually have to train our hippocampus and give it anchors to realize what's what's happening in the realm of the spirit is the most important thing. And so that's why you have to the whole time uh, be focused um, when you see a, a few minutes or an hour went past and you didn't observe what's happening in the realm of the spirit. You have to just uh, uh, take that focus back on we. You need to have it. You know, with a little child, when you speak to the child, you have to tell the child all the time, hey, look at me. And then the child see the TV and the other kids playing and the, the child doesn't want to focus. So you got to keep that focus the whole time on you. And so in the same way, you got to almost talk to your soul and say, come, focus now. Yes. Uh, what's happening in the realm of the spirit? So that your soul can learn that it has to serve your spirit, man. Because the, the function of the soul is um, your your spirit man can't function on this earth without the soul because the soul is, a, is the mediator between your spirit man and your physical body but your soul is not here to help your physical body your soul is here to be a servant to your spirit man so that your spirit man can do on this earth that god called it to do so the soul thinks he's working for the body but the soul is actually not working for the body he's working for the spirit and now you need to train your soul. Hey, listen here. Who's your boss? Your boss is your spirit. Right? The spirit's boss is again the Holy Spirit, who is again Jesus, who is again the Father, who is again the purpose and the identity that God gives to you. So that's the flow. And so your soul has to learn how to subject itself to the spirit. Now, in your soul, there's an imagination screen. That's a screen where information is broadcasted from your soul, from your body, and also from your spirit, man. And uh, your soul kind of chooses of all that information that's broadcasted, which channel is going to show on the screen. You know, um, So you can listen for something, or you can look for something particularly. Uh, you can ignore other things, and so therefore you've got to kind of ignore uh, most of what's happening in the natural realm and focus on what's happening in the realm of the spirit. Yes, I mean, I also liked what she said that um, your spirit is always awake and we might just not realize that we've been in different places multiple times. Yeah, absolutely. I'm calling it deja vu. Yeah, well, God is going to show you things. Because he wants you to prepare, be prepared, just like he showed Jesus every day of his life, uh, what's going to happen that day, so he can do what he saw the Father do. Um, uh, so in the same way, God also spoke to him, and so he was aware and prepared. And, and God wants to prepare you also every day for your day. But you need to come to the classroom so you can learn and see and watch what he wants to show to you. Yeah, so that's why... It's important that you don't let one night go to waste. Yes. So in the evening when you go to bed, um, instead of getting your brain hooked on or focused on uh, images and information, that's going to help, uh, get you to wrestle with that during the night. And then that occupies your your consciousness and then you're not going to be able to focus on the realm of the spirit. You actually have to go to sleep. Uh, focusing on God, praying in tongues, going through your gateway of first love into the realm where God is so that you can see what he wants to show you. And so that's a process. So I think a, a good discipline for us to go into the night watch is that last half an hour before you go to bed to make sure that you do the right things uh, in terms of helping your soul to get released and distangled or you know, from the natural realm and your worries and your stresses because it's going to be no use for you to worry during the night. It's going to be far more beneficial for you to connect to God and what He is saying. Mm, amen. Yeah. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah, so absolutely. No, so put down your phones, hey? Don't go to bed being on <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> yeah, I, I this last, uh, that's just a good a while, I, I leave my phone in the office. Um, uh, just because I don't want my that yeah that my brain to be uh, captivated by things that I saw on my phone. That's very good. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much. Did you want to say something more before we go? Yeah, I think uh, we can just do a pre. Yes. Uh, for for each one. Um, okay, so just where you are, 
Uh, I just want to do a pre with you, and, and the pre is simple. Uh, is just to disconnect from the realm of the, the soul and to connect to the realm of the spirit. The way you do it is by elevating Jesus as your first love. So close your eyes and you say, Jesus, um, I love you. Thank you that you are in me, that I can be in you. And so, Lord, even as I breathe in your breath of life, Lord, I start to connect with you. And, Lord, I reach out to you uh, as my first love. And I say, Jesus, I love you so very much. You the number one in my life, and so I connect to you. And so, Lord, I, I open up the gate in my heart, and I step through my spirit, man, into the realm of the spirit where you are. And so, Lord, thank you that I can walk with you in Eden, and I can be with you in the realm of the spirit, uh, where your presence is in the realm of heaven. And so, Lord, I can be present with my spirit in this natural realm, and I can at the same time also be present with my spirit, man, in the spiritual realm and i could even be in more than one place in the realm of the spirit with my spirit and lord i sign up today to the school of the seven spirits of god i sign up to uh, learn from you to walk with you um, and lord uh, you are good to us and lord every night help us to have that discipline to to engage the realm of the spirit just like jacob uh, saw a ladder in the night time or Joseph, every night the angel came and spoke to him about him and Mary. So in the same way, Lord, we engage you and we invite you to come and speak to us and send angels, show us visions, give us experiences so that we can come closer in our relationship with the Father. We give you honor and praise in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us. We love spending this time with you. But before we go, thank you. <laughs> Joseph's and the next video that we'd like you to check out is called In Christ Under His Covering Meditation. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so um, uh, uh, I, I love to do uh, meditation and engaging the Lord. And a lot of what we're talking about, uh, Nancy Cohen, ends up having to do with our ability to engage the Lord. And so in this meditation prayer that I'm doing in the session, I help you to engage the Lord. So it's just good to come with me and just spend that few minutes, engage the Lord, because that kind of gives you a little bit of a template of what you can do in the evening just before you go to bed. Amen. That's very good. It goes nicely with what we were talking about today. Yes. Keep well. We'll see you next time. God bless.